Just so everyone knows, James Rana has been replaced by Ted McGinley from this moment forward. That's right. Yeah, Ted, is that your Ted McGinley impersonation? That's the best Ted McGinley I can has do. Has anyone ever done a Ted McGinley impersonation? I, I don't think I so. I don't think anyone has. Well, actually, no. They made a married with children porn. I'm sure someone at some point <laughs> had to do an impersonation of Tim McGinley. We are back <laughs> on the exclusive film and video report. I'll lend it to you. And uh, today we are talking about the uh, recent news that, uh, well, you know, Disney bought out uh, George Lucas. Well, he didn't buy him. It's not like Lucas was on hard times. Uh, but he sold. He made another billion dollars. He made another billion dollars. He sold his interest in Star Wars over to Disney. He's going to act as a consultant on uh, the new Star Wars film. Which I am not happy about. Let me explain why. Lucas purposely waited years after Return of the Jedi. Yes. For the prequels, which were not, were not very the, good. The prequels, and I know people that will stick up for the prequels, and they'll say that, you know, there's there's deep hidden layers. No, the there's prequels, nothing there. Look, it, it's we enough time has passed that we can speak honestly about this now. Those movies stink. They really do. They, Jar Jar Binks. I mean, Jar I Jar Binks, a ridiculous character, an offensive uh, character. Very. Uh, those movies just, they, they don't have anybody that you care about in those movies. Natalie Portman, God love her. Who cares about Padme or whatever her it, name it was really in that? Made, it really made And, no you know, sense. the last one that they had was the one I enjoyed the most because it, it led up to the Darth first Vader. movie, Star yeah. Wars. And I don't even like this episode four, episode five. Screw you. It's Star Wars, The Empire Strikes <laughs> Back, Return of the Jedi. Those are the first three. Yeah. And I don't know what happened to Lucas because Lucas directed American Graffiti. That is one of my favorite movies of the 1970s. Really? I love that movie. And I, I mean no disrespect here, but something to happen to him when he came up with the, uh, the Ewoks. Oh, that Suddenly was Suddenly it, it became like, God, the toys we could sell. So now we get wind that uh, Disney is taking over. Disney has been handling all the Marvel stuff. That's true. Look what they did with the Avengers. That was one of the biggest movies of the summer, one of the biggest movies of the past 10 years. The, they did, Disney has done everything right by Marvel. You've got Thor movies, Captain America, Iron Man, uh, 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 the Hulk, and these movies all were leading up to the Avengers. It was one of the smartest uh, marketing plans you could come up with so that when the Avengers opened, anybody who saw those individual films was primed for this team-up movie, and it was a huge success. They are going to do right by Star Wars. I think that these movies. Now we know that the guy, the, you know, the actors we want to see. We've always wanted to see these actors. We could care less about Ewan McGregor and Samuel L. Jackson, fine actors as they are. But word that uh, Mark Hamill coming back as Harris, Luke Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, who's now ninety years old. God love him. Well, you know, Carrie Fisher, hot from her uh, Broadway show, all about alcoholism yeah. and uh, Star Wars. That'll be. I wonder if she's going to wear the golden bikini. I don't know if that's a good idea. You almost make it sound like she's going to have a relapse if she goes and does Star Wars again. I will say this. When this movie comes out, this is going to be so huge. Even if the movie is a disaster, even if the movie stinks to high heaven, it gets terrible reviews, this is going to be the biggest film because people have been waiting. Forget about the prequels. People have been waiting to see what happened to these characters. Obviously, this has to take place after the first three movies because the actors are so much older it has to now i what i'm what i'm dreading is that it's going to be hey let's han and leia's kids and they're going to be the heroes for the next series of adventures i really hope that doesn't happen. i i mean i have a feeling a strong feeling that's what's going to happen it's going to be han and leia's son and uncle luke <laughs> you know? weird uncle luke he lives outside right and, <laughs> at, one, and, at, and at one time he made out with mom yeah, very unusual. Yeah, yes, very, very odd story there. I mean, I, he's the only Jedi Knight left, so I really don't right. know what that's going to be. But look, I'm excited. Do you think James Earl Jones is coming back? You know what? Of course. I, and Dave, is David Prowse is still wait, around? Wait a minute, wait a minute. How can James Earl Jones come back? Because Darth Vader died. Oh, yeah, that's right. We'd have to have a new villain. We can't have Darth Vader in this movie. Although maybe... No, 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 we can't. We can't even have uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi in this movie. Any variation of Obi-Wan Kenobi, unless they do a CGI thing like they did with Brando and Superman Returns and bring him back that way. Or they can maybe just take some clips from other Alec Guinness films like, I don't know, like the Lavender Hill <laughs> Bob. <laughs> from the Ealing comedies. You would like okay. that. <laughs> you the lady see, Here's what happened to him after you and McGregor. <laughs> Anthony Daniels is still around, right? He can still voice Anthony C-3PO. You, you know that Kenny Baker, who would do his R2-D2, was, was on my program. Was he really? Yes, and we talked, you know, his, his health is not the best, but, the, you know, but anyway... Uh, supposedly, word on the street is that he and Ke and Anthony Daniels do not like each other. Really, C three PO and R two D two have a have a business between them. From what I hear, 
Anthony Daniels is very pompous, not easy to work with. You know, because the thing is, Anthony Daniels made way more money because he does the voice. Kenny Baker doesn't do the voice. Yeah, he just that's moves right. around in little thing. But you know what? You know what Kenny Baker could always throw in Anthony Daniels' face. What? You're a third-rate Roddy McDowell. So are you going to see the new Star Wars movie? You know, of course I'll see it in the movie theater. I have to. You know, I'm still a child. But I don't know. I'm hoping. You know, the thing is, I'm hoping it's going to be great. Yeah, so am I. I'm hoping that, look, it's it's a dream come true. We, you never thought you'd see, it, it was almost as if Lucas had some sort of a grudge against the original cast, and you never thought you'd see Harrison Ford once again as Han Solo, Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, and Carrie Fisher in the gold bikini. I, I actually want to have Spielberg have E.T. come back to Earth and try to save Drew Barrymore. <laughs> there you go. And I, I'd like to see uh, Boba Fett be interesting. I, they they I hype that character. They hype him. He doesn't do a damn thing. He if gets killed see, so easily in Return of the Jedi. If you see the Christmas special, oh, Boba Fett's yes. a good guy. Right. <laughs> in the Christmas special. By the way, can, they, can we work in some Star Wars lore from the Christmas special? Can Chewbacca be celebrating... Uh, or, uh, Life Day. Life Day. Well, you know the problem with the Christmas special? Uh, B. Arthur's dead. Yeah, that's true. And she got Way to end on a downer note, James. There you go. The exclusive film and video report. I'm off to the cantina. (laughs) 